Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be kind of like a haul video mixed with like a review because I was sent these packages, or at least these palettes I should say, in this package by a brand uh, called Hush or Shop Hush I should say. The brands are actually on the palettes, they're not made by Hush, but they're sold through Hush. Anyways, they sent me a box full of goodies, like a butt ton of palettes to go through. So that's what we're going to do today. As you guys saw in the beginning, I showed you guys some arm swatches. I'm not gonna do all the swatches of every single shade again you guys just saw them in the intro just to save some time but I will go through and show you guys my favorite palettes my not so favorite palettes the ones I think you guys should pick up if you'd like them the price tag everything that goes along with these palettes which by the way all these palettes are $10 which to me is pretty good I will have the links for everything down below for you guys just for quick finding if you happen to like something or a couple things you will find all of them down below and as well as sending me all these palettes they were generous enough to give me a coupon code for you guys if you happen to find something in this video that you really really want to get your hands on or perhaps buy someone for Christmas since it's coming up you can use the coupon code AshleyM10 which I will have right here and that will save you a couple bucks on your order on shophush.com which is the company that send me all these products so first and foremost a huge thank you to shop hush and bad habit and face candy now just because these palettes were sent to me does not mean i'm going to kiss everyone's ass you guys know here on my channel i'm not about that life like i said just a couple seconds ago i'm gonna tell you guys the products i think that are worth the money the ones that are not the ones i personally won't be using ever again so without further ado let's get started so since there are more eyeshadows i will start with the eyeshadows now you will notice one thing when you look at all these eyeshadow palettes because it's the one thing I noticed when I first opened the entire box. Every single one of these palettes, aside from maybe all the highlighting palettes except for one, they're all dupes for higher end palettes. 
let me show you. First up, we have the Sugar Palette from Face Candy Cosmetics. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, this one is not my favorite. I think this one's my least favorite out of everything I received in this entire box. Just because the color scheme is very boring. I don't know why we have two shades that are essentially almost pretty much the same. And then we have this one right here that honestly, it's really, really light. It's too light to the point where... It just doesn't show up on my skin, so it's kind of like a pointless shadow. But just because it doesn't work for me does not mean it's not going to work for you. Please don't take offense to this. This is just my personal opinion on the products. You guys know I'm here about honesty. But like I said, I just don't think I'm going to be using this palette as much as I thought I would initially. But as you can see, you guys could probably already figure out this is obviously a dupe for one of the Too Faced palettes, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palettes. It has almost the exact same layout, the exact same pan size, the exact same pan shape. Down to the metal packaging I mean it's pretty much an exact dupe minus a few of the shades obviously the only shades I will find myself using on occasion if I even keep this palette would probably be these four right here this one right here is in the shade licorice and it is a beautiful olive like forest deep green I'll put that one right here and as you can see, it's very reflective. It has a little bit of a duochrome look to it. It's kind of brown and greenish. Pistachio, which is right next door to it, which is like an army green. We'll put that one right next door to that one. Once again, very pigmented. And the one thing I did notice about the majority of all of like the shimmer or metallic shadows, not so much the shimmer shadows actually, more of the metallic shadows, they have such a beautiful formula to them. They're creamy, they go on well. The only formula I kind of have an issue with when it comes to all these shadows, at least the ones in this haul, is when you get to the more like foiled shadows, which I'll show you guys a couple in a couple seconds. When you get to those, they have so much fallout. It's crazy. Like, when you go to swatch it, you pick it up with your finger, even when you pick it up on the slightest little touch on your finger and you swatch it, you will see little clumps of eyeshadow building up everywhere when you initially put your finger down to swatch. And then when you go to actually blend it out, little clumps will just fall. Like, it's just, it's, it's not good at all. The matte shades could be better. They are very, very inconsistent as far as formula and pigmentation. I'm finding a lot of the matte shades are more on the drier side. There are definitely a few that have more of a creamy texture to them when they actually blend very well and they have excellent pigmentation but for the most part they're really not consistent when it comes to formulation which kind of stinks all right guys so if you've ever heard of this brand for any reason I'm fairly certain it's for this palette we're about to talk about right now this is the Aphrodite palette now if you've been on Instagram over the past few months you would have seen this palette over and over and over again it is almost an exact dupe for one of the Huda Beauty palettes but when you open the actual palette this is what you you see it's insane how close these two palettes are this one is ten dollars and it's honestly made such a big hit on Instagram I see so many people talking about it and it's for good reason I'm happy to say that's it's a really good reason for that because this is probably one of the other palettes actually I have one other palette that I think is my favorite out of all of these this is probably one of the palettes in this entire haul that is my favorite as far as color selection as far as consistency as far as pigmentation and formulation of the shadows everything just seems to work well. Not to mention this black is probably the blackest black I've ever had the pleasure of using for eyeshadows in a very long time. My holy grail matte black eyeshadow to ever have used ever in the history of makeup is the Wet n Wild 99 cent single eyeshadow in the shade Panther. If you need a matte black and you want it to be black AF, that is going to be the best option for you because number one, it's 99 cents. And number two, it is honestly such a pigmented black. It's incredibly black. So anyways, like I said, this is the Aphrodite palette. This is what she looks like. Absolutely beautiful. We'll go ahead and swatch one of these. I'm thinking these are foiled shadows, especially this one right here. These two, this one in Adore and in Love. These two must be foil shadows because like I said, I don't know if you guys can see it right there, but it's so chunky and when you go to swatch it which I'll do right now I'm gonna swatch the shade of door I don't know if you guys can see how chunky that looks on my finger we'll put her right here see the little balls right there up top I mean it's super reflective it's a beautiful beautiful shade but once you blend it in I mean the opacity is top-notch next we'll go into the shade love for the ultra like foil shadows this one's a deepish red cranberry shade We'll put her right next door to the other one. And there's Love. So we'll go ahead and do the deep red first. There she is right there. Put her right here. 
not too bad I have to admit when I first watched these I was very impressed with how decent the pigmentation was for the first swatch and then we're also gonna go into like I said heartbreak which is the matte black this one definitely feels a lot drier but look at that pigmentation though I mean and we'll put him right here Come on. All right, the next one is the Royals palette from Bad Habit Cosmetics once again. This one is, as you guessed it, probably a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette that everyone is so in love with. As you can see, I mean, it's not identical. It's definitely got more of the cooler tones, like pastel colors on this side. Then you have more of the reddish tones over here. The only thing it's missing is a very decent, like, deep red. Like, this is the deepest you get as far as, like, deeper colors in this palette. This is what you get in the palette. Not too bad. It reminds me very closely of the ABH layout as far as pan size and the actual layout of them. As far as the packaging as well, I mean, it's pretty similar. I'm pretty sure the ABH palette's a little bit shorter and a little bit thicker as well, but for layout, I mean, it's pretty much identical. Once again, a very decent sized mirror, almost the entire length of the top of the palette, but let's go ahead and start the swatching process. Now, this one doesn't really have any, like, metallic shades, but definitely has some that are more on the shimmerier side, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the shade Queen, which is right up top here. There is Queen on the finger. I guess that is pretty metallic, actually, and we'll put her right there. That's definitely metallic. I was fucking wrong. I fucking lied. And then we'll also go to the other end of the spectrum and swatch the Majestic shade right here, which is a matte. Now Majestic, this one right here, is one of the shadows that definitely has more of like a creamier texture to it, as opposed to Heartbreak, which was that matte black we just swatched in the Aphrodite palette, which was definitely a lot drier, like to the touch. When you would go and swatch your finger in it, it definitely felt a lot drier than this one does. So that's what I mean about inconsistencies. Nothing is the same, even though both these palettes are from the same brand it's kind of like what the hell so go ahead and swatch majestic we'll put her right here and I do see a shimmer shade right here this one's in the shade honor so we'll go ahead and swatch that one it's almost like a deep brownish plum shade she looks like on the finger right there and we'll put her right there so those are the three swatches from the Royals palette. All right, so besides the Aphrodite palette being a favorite, this is a close second to that one. This is the Bad Habit Cosmetics Inferno palette, and this is obviously going to be a dupe for the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette, which I am going to be picking up, I think, next weekend. If you guys want to see a comparison between this palette and the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette, let me know down below. So the first one I'm going to swatch is the shade Flames, which is right here. It is obviously a metallic shade. So I'll pick that up with my finger. There's flames on the finger. And there's flames swatched. And then we're also going to go into the shade Ignite for another metallic, which is the brownish metallic right there. And there she is on the finger. Ooh, that looks beautiful. And we'll put her right here. And once again, just blend it out a little bit so it's not so stark. And then as for the mattes, I want to do one light shadow and one dark shadow. So for that, I'm going to go into the shade Glow, which is right here. Once again, a very, very creamy texture to these. They don't feel dry whatsoever. Put that there. Blend her in. And then lastly, we're going to go into the shade Smolder, which is the dark chocolate brown right up top. This is also a matte shade. And we'll put that one right up here. Like, come on guys, like that is beautiful. All right, now for my number one favorite out of everything we got in this box today. This is my all time favorite palette as far as consistency, as far as pigmentation, the color selection is top notch. I love this palette and it is going to be the Bad Habit Cosmetics Retro Love Palette. Out of all the palettes I've received, I've used this one the most out of all of them because the color selection is gorgeous. A dupe for obviously the what? The subculture palette from ABH, which was a complete failure. I love jewel tones. I love the teals, the greens, the velvety, like burgundy reds. The metallic shades right here. We have psychedelic, icon, and revolution. These three are gorgeous swatched, and I'll go ahead and swatch them for you right now. We'll go ahead and start with the lightest, which is psychedelic, which is the stark white in the palette. And we'll put this one right here. Look how beautiful that looks. It's like a pinky iridescent color, like his gorgeous girl. Next, we're gonna go into Icon, which is definitely a very unique shade. I have nothing like this in my collection at all. Put that there. Like, look how blinding that is. 
And then we're gonna go into Revolution, which is like the copper gold shade. So very, very beautiful, very blinding. Like, come on. Like, if they could model the rest of their palettes after the formulation and pigmentation of this palette, I would be happy as fuck. And then for the mattes, we're going to go into the shade Fab, which is this, like, mustard yellow right here. We'll go ahead and put Fab right here. Blend her in a little bit. Build it up a little bit. As you can see, very, very pretty. We're also going to go into the shade Nostalgia, which is this deep, deep brownish plum. We'll put her right here. Blend her in a little bit. And lastly, I have to I have to swatch the teal for you guys because this one is my favorite. A little bit drier, but um, you you will be surprised. Go ahead and blend her in right there, like um, come through pigmentation. All right, and the last three palettes we have for today are all highlighting palettes, which I'm very excited to show you guys. So the first palette they sent to me was, once again, from Bad Habit Cosmetics. It looks like this. It is the Oasis Highlighting Kit. The first one we're going to swatch is the cream shade. There's only one cream shade this entire palette. It is in the shade Piña Colada, which, <laughs> girl, this is so blinding. It is so gorgeous when swatched. We'll go ahead and just put that on. Like, come the fuck on. Next, we're going to go into the shade Nude Beach, which is the one I like to use just because it's perfect for my skin tone. Go ahead and put her on the finger like that. Put that one right next door. As you can see, it's just as blinding as the cream shade. Next up, we have Tan Lines, which is definitely meant for people who are darker in skin tones, like medium to dark. There she is on the finger. Put her right there. And then lastly, we have the shade Vacay, which is right here. It's the pinky one. I don't see myself using Vacay, at least not as a highlighter. It's just so pink, and it would just create a pink stripe on my cheek. So I don't want that. So that one's probably going to be used for, like, special occasions, special effects makeup kind of thing, you know. But I'll go ahead and swatch her anyways. That's what she looks like on the finger. And we'll put this one right up here. Blend her in a little bit so you can see her in action. So those are all these shades in the Oasis Highlighting Kit. Alright, so next up we have the Unicorn Glow Highlighting Collection. Now the packaging, iconic. Also the name is identical to the Wet n Wild Unicorn Glow Collection, which I have right there. However, just because it shares a very similar, not even similar, it's the exact same name, it has nothing in common with anything in that box whatsoever. If anything, it reminds me a lot of the BH Cosmetics Black Light Highlight Palette, which I have over here, which let me just show you guys. So this is the BH Cosmetics one. As you can see, that's what she looks like. And you pick up this one. Now, obviously, it's not identical, but you can definitely see some of the shades look eerily similar. So for this one, I'm only going to swatch, I think, let's just do two for this one. We'll do one really light one that you can wear every day, and then one like out of this world one, which we'll do celestial for that one. So we'll go ahead and start with Stardust, which is the lightest shade. It's like an icy, frosty white, and we'll put her right there. As you can see, extraordinarily blinding. And then for Celestial, which is the blue, we'll go ahead and swatch this one as well. It looks white, but when you swatch it, it kind of transforms into a frosty blue. These look almost holographic. Like, it's insane how pigmented these are. Especially for only being $10. Especially when this is $18, I think, on the BH Cosmetics website. I pretty much almost think this is the better deal, just because you get the exact same shades pretty much with a little bit similar of pigmentation, if not better. And the very last palette I have for you guys is the Rosé Highlight Palette. Now this one is definitely made for those of you who do not like the extravagant colors. You don't like wearing crazy pinks or purples or blues or nothing like that. You just want a very, very natural glow to your skin. That is going to be accomplished with this palette. As you can see, you get six very large pans of very natural, very neutral looking highlighters. And once again, they don't really necessarily have different shade collections for each skin tone. They pretty much include a bunch of different shades that would be appropriate for each skin tone. So everyone from every skin tone can find something in this palette to work on your skin tone. Put them right here. Ooh, honey. I mean, there's no denying how pigmented these are, guys. And we'll blend this one in a little bit as well. 
So there's the first three shades. And then we're going to end with champagne, hashtag all day, and bubbly. So, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. That's We went through everything in this stack right here. I want to give a huge shout-out to Shop Hush and the brand's Face Candy and also Bad Habit Cosmetics or Bad Habit Beauty on Instagram. I will have all the Instagrams, the Twitter links if there are any, and, of course, the product links down below for you guys as well as the coupon code they gave to me to save you guys some money if you find anything you like and you want to buy it. Use that coupon code to save you some moolah. Obviously, if you don't want to, you don't have to. It's okay. But like I said, I, I it just it was so cool of you guys to reach out to me and uh, send me all this stuff to share with you guys and honestly guys like I said in the video I'm nothing but honest with my reviews I have no reason to sit here and bullshit you guys about a brand that I don't like but I'm just saying I really do think that the majority of the palettes that I showed you guys in today's video the ones I use that I like at least I really do think they are worth the money and for being only $10 per palette that's not bad at all especially for the quality especially when you go to palettes like this one the retro love palette the Aphrodite palette and also the Inferno palette these three are my top three. If I want you to buy anything, I want you to buy these three for the eyeshadows. And honestly, quite frankly, I would invest in all of the highlighting palettes because these were all blinding. Let's be real. But anyways, I want you guys to tell me which ones were your favorites. Which ones do you want to see me use in the next video? Leave those all down below as far as requests and suggestions. You guys know I'm all about your requests and suggestions. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, guys. It is a Friday night and I am ready to edit this video, put it up, and have some fun because it's my birthday weekend. My birthday is actually on Monday. I'm very excited for my birthday. My dad is actually flying up on Thursday of next week, so I have Thursday and Friday off of next week, and obviously a full weekend to spend with my father. We're gonna go shopping, and we're also going to invest in a lot of Bath and Body Works, which you guys know. Um, let me just move if you haven't seen it already. Have you guys ever met anybody who does not need Bath and Body Works more than me? I think not. But Bath and Body Works sent me two birthday emails to both of my emails. And then I have three of these coupon books that I can use on my next purchase. So mama is going to go hoard. I will talk to you guys later. I love you guys so, so much. Like and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.